not a Christmas poem. <laughs> you separate the dark and light clothes. I wash them all together. I don't scrape the carrots before I add them to soup. We both don't like to talk on the phone. When I wrote about you in my pink ponytail diary, I called you the big shot. I was 10 and lovesick and wanted a babysitting job for 50 cents an hour. And you had a girlfriend named Gogo who wiggled when she walked and smoked cigarettes on the CYO drill team bus where everyone sang in the still of the night in harmonizing chorus. You sew and I ham. You read and I dance. I wanted to be a doctor or a peddler when I grew up and you wanted to be a nun. <laughs> You wanted to decorate the bedroom we shared with purple gingham curtains and matching rugs. But our mother said we couldn't afford that. I hung the laundry and imagined a house fire. The clothes on the line were all I had left. <laughs> we had a party line then, and I liked to listen in. I had a turntable, and you got married but I was too tired to lift my hands and clap for the Tom Rush, for Tom Rush at the South Shore Music Circus before there was a name for chronic fatigue. And before anyone knew what Lyme was, you had the bullseye rash. When our brother Danny was dying in a Houston hospital, we sat by his bed like bookends. At night in his apartment, we slept side by side just like we did when we were kids. And our mother dressed us alike, you in red and me in blue. Some people thought we were twins. <laughs> Danny was buried on top of our brother Jim, as if he was going to sleep on a school night after washing dishes in the old mill grill. He slept on the top bunk in the room he shared with Jim and couldn't wake up in the morning when our mother called his name. We lost Jim a month before Dan. It was you on the other end of the call. And when you were sick, words weren't enough. We cried over the phone together. Once we fought over a hairbrush in a stubborn standoff of wills. We both claimed and clung to it. I don't remember who gave up first. I lost the key to the diary and had to break the lock. <laughs> Our house was taken by eminent domain and was purposely burned to ash. Wow.